Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to write an equation from a line on a graph. And we're going to use the slope-intercept form to do it. First, let's look at the slope-intercept form. This is the generic form of the slope-intercept equation. And what does it mean? Well, the m represents the slope, or the rate of change how much the line is going up or down from left to right. The B represents the y-intercept, um, or the initial value. Where it crosses the y-axis is the key. Now we're going to find the equation of a line that's on a graph. And so what you need to do first is identify the y-intercept that is a key piece of information right here. So we have the y-intercept being negative 2, and then we're going to find the slope. And so you want to pick two good points on the line. I'm going to choose two points that are on perfect points, crosshairs. Now you could use that negative 2 also, but I'm just going to use these two green points as a uh, example. So we're going to create a slope triangle. From the left to the right, we go up 3 over 2. And so this helps you visually see what the uh, slope is doing. So it goes up 3 over 2, which gives us 3 over 2. And that's our slope. So what we're going to do now that we have our two key pieces of information is we are going to put them into the generic form. So our m is going to be 3 over 2, and our b is going to be negative 2. And so we write the equation like that. All right, our next line here, we identify the y-intercept, which happens to be 5. And then our slope, I'm going to pick two good points here. I'll choose these two. and making a little slope triangle. We're going to go from left to right down 1 over 3. So negative 1 over 3. And I'm going to write it with the negative out front. I want you to know that these two numbers are exactly the same. It doesn't matter where the negative is. The negative could be on the top number. It could be on the bottom number only. Or it can be out in front like I have it on the right. And so this is the way we like to write it when it's in uh, equation form. So our m is negative one-third and our b is 5 and so we write it in our equation and we've got it. Now our next line. This one has a y-intercept of 3 and our slope, I'm going to pick two points. Now I could pick pretty much any point along here. Um, this one's pretty easy. This one is going down 1 over 1, which turns out to be negative 1. All right, now when we apply this to our generic form, our m is going to be negative 1, and our b is 3. And so you'll notice that I put just a negative in front of x. You know that if you have 1x or a positive x or a negative x, it's 1x, but we don't write the 1 in there, so we'll just put that negative in front of there to give us our equation. And that's how easy it is to find an equation in slope-intercept form from a line. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.